If you haven't already, go subscribe to our new channel, Larry Elder Daily. That's right, every day we'll have a new video, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Click the link in the description below and subscribe to Larry Elder Daily. We'll see you there. After my election to recall and replace the governor of California, in Gavin Newsom's victory speech, he said... We may have defeated Trump, but Trumpism is not dead in this country. And when Glenn Youngkin, the Republican candidate, upset Terry McAuliffe in Virginia, CNN's Van Whiplash Jones said... You do have the, the grassroots uh, folks out there uh, fighting for this on the Democratic Party side. The stakes are high. Uh, when this election is over in Virginia, we will know. Have we seen the emergence of the Delta variant of Trumpism? The Delta variant of Trumpism. In other words, Yunkin, uh, same disease, but spreads a lot faster and can get a lot more places. The what? <laughs> Delta variant of Trumpism. That's what I thought you said. Now, they can't run on their record. Inflation rising faster than wages, insecure borders, the way he withdrew from Afghanistan, the ridiculous mandates, vaccine mandates, face mask mandates. What would they have to run on if it weren't for Trump? Virginia, you know, Terry, you know his record. He was a great governor. If you reelect him again, he'll be another four years as a great governor. But look, how well do you know Terry's opponent? Well, just remember this, I ran against Donald Trump. And Terry is running against an acolyte of Donald Trump. Terry's opponent has made all of his private pledges of loyalty to Donald Trump. But what's really interesting to me, he won't stand next to Donald Trump now that the campaign's on. Think about it. He won't allow Donald Trump to campaign for him in this state. And he's willing to pledge his loyalty to Trump in private. Why not in public? What's he trying to hide? Is there a problem with Trump being here? Is he embarrassed? <laughs> Can't live with him. <laughs> Can't live without him. I wish I knew how to quit you. Cool, I'm sure. Youngkin is thrilled to hear that. Republicans in Virginia have been trying to appeal to Trump's base without getting Trump himself involved, but he can't help it. His next statement is going to say, Glenn is too modest to say, but he reminds me of a young Donald Trump. He's like the son he never had. I wish I could name him Don Jr. <laughs> Just another reminder for Republicans, no matter how hard you try, you can never escape Trump. You guys are like the people who think Chucky's dead because you threw him out a window. No need to look. I'm sure the fall killed Chucky. Now... Let's move on from Chucky the doll and talk more about Chucky's ideas. Sigh. Do you hear anything like privacy is guaranteed? Today, I would like to introduce a new privacy and cybersecurity application tool called Secure. Secure is using proprietary encryption and is offering secure instant messaging and email. All communication is based on servers and data centers hosted in Switzerland without using any of the big tech platforms and also following the strictest Swiss data privacy laws. Constantly your private information, pictures, chat, email, have been stolen and your data have been mined and sold by big tech. When you use a free product, you are the product. Secure never minds your data and never asks for your phone number. Also, you can easily communicate with both secure user and non-secure users by using the chat by invite and using Secure Send when sending an email to others. Secure's technology allows you to communicate privately without fear of spying from your internet provider. It costs only $5 for the messenger and only $10 for the email and messenger package. Go to secure.com and take back your privacy today. Use promo code Larry for 25% off. responsibility and do you think that Terry McAuliffe would have won if your agenda had passed before election day? Well, uh, I think we should have should have passed before election day, but I'm not sure that I would be able to have changed the 
number of very conservative folks who turned out in the red districts who were Trump voters, but maybe, maybe. No, I, I, I know we did, but I, we also, I was running against Donald Trump. What a difference a day made. We're going to win. I think we're going to win in Virginia. And you know, you're reporting it being close. The race is very close. So it's about who shows up, who turns out. And granted, I did win by a large margin. But the point of the matter is that I think that this is, this is going to be what we all knew from the beginning. It's going to be a tight race. And it is tight. And it's going to get down to turnout. And it's going to, my guess is I'm going to be uh, landing at 1 o'clock in the morning East Coast time. That's probably about the time we'll be hearing what the final results are. I think we're going to win New Jersey as well. But look, you know, the, uh, the off year... Uh, is, is, is always unpredictable, especially when we don't have a general election going on at the same time. That's been the case up and down, you know, for a long time, especially as Virginia's turned more and more blue. You see, here's the deal about the media and Donald Trump. They made him. Oh, yeah. Had it not been for them putting him on, on and on and on when he first announced, he never could have gotten elected. He got millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars in free publicity because they kept putting him on. Their ratings went up. They thought he was a cartoon. They thought he was a joke. He was never going to win after all. So put him on. And then little by little, he began to pick off his Republican opponents. You know what it reminds me of? That scene from that movie called Putney Swope, where the CEO unexpectedly died and the board of directors had to vote on the successor, but you couldn't vote for yourself. So they voted for the guy they thought would be least likely to win. The corporate bylaws make it very clear that the only way we can determine a new chairman is by democratic process. Paragraph 68 specifically states that nobody can vote for himself. That's what it says, so that's where it's at. Vote for me and I'll get you into the Knights of Columbus. Well, for me, I'll give you 10% of the business. 25. Vote for me, and I'll set you up in Puerto Rico for life. I got Puerto Ricans in my building. Enough caucus, let's get the votes in. Thank you, Valerie. <clears throat> for Elias. Trump. One for Bissinger. Trump. Trump. historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. <laughs> I'm Larry Elder, and we've got a country to say. I'll see you next time. Out. Trump. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoy my show, go check out epictv.com for more fantastic shows. You definitely don't want to miss this. Sign up for free today. We'll see you there.